And I got some real good surprises too, man. Some stuff that's clothing based, but outside the fitness industry. You know what I'm saying? So, but let me get to the point, all right? Let me go ahead. Let me set my camera up here on my drink, man, so we can keep this thing from moving. I'm trying to keep this camera from moving. Sorry, I don't have my tripod with me. And like I said, I was just, uh, just wanted to get a video done, man. I didn't want to wait till I got home and get settled in. That's when you know stuff don't get done, you know? So, drum roll, please. And the reason um, I picked these was either, you know, you uh, are swole, took a dope picture, uh, were creative, or something like that of the above, of the above all right? So let me go ahead and announce the winners of the train with me and Beast Mode coming to Texas, turn up. And if you're allowed, if you can, go ahead and cut a rug and go out and have a good time. All right. So the first winner, excuse me, I'm looking at my phone. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I get everybody's stuff correct. Uh, the first winner will be, drum roll please, will be Etna Fur. I'm not saying that last name right. Etna. I'll put it down below. with the Instagram. She's the winner. She's a WMBF uh, pro, and uh, I believe she just won Worlds, man. So that's a major uh, thing, man. Have somebody like that supporting you, man. So much respect to her, man. But she's been on her grind for a long time, and congratulations, all right. And the other winner for the giveaway, drum roll, please, is Xavier Spriggs or Springs. I think it's Spriggs. SPRI Spriggs, all right, and he did a dope like promotional video. I wish I could like um, repost it in this video, but I'm not that tech savvy like that, so I don't have to do it. But he did a real dope video, real dope edit with the Drake stuff on there. That's probably another reason I can't do it. it. Had like some copyrighted music, so that's why I couldn't do it. So those are the two winners. But don't worry, I'm doing another giveaway. Uh, actually, right away. Um, cause we want to get the, obviously get the clothing brand popping and we also want to get people coming to the pump chasers gym to come see us hang out and you know help spread the brand and show us that we are a brand of the people when it's not trying to be um, seclusive as long as things go well as long as we don't have any bad experiences or bad vibes man keep it cool you know what I'm saying keep it respectful you know what I mean don't be creepy and weird man you know what I'm saying that's all I'm gonna say about that all right so those are the two winners man so hopefully they'll be able to get down here real soon and record with us and train and uh, cut a rug so we'll be doing another contest again Hopefully, like I said, I'll probably announce with Chris tomorrow on his channel or on Instagram. Uh, the winner of, uh, excuse me, my ear itching, the winner of the contest again. So it'll be the same people, so everybody will know who got, uh, who won, because he announced it on his channel too. So some people might be waiting to hear it on his channel, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to, we'll do it on both. So I'm doing it on mine today or tonight. And I'll probably do it with him tomorrow at the fight party if he has one, all right? So those are the winners. So how do you be, how are you enter into the contest? You get some Illuminati clothing, do something creative, tag me in it. I mean, you don't got to be crazy with it. Man. You can do a regular, you don't got to be crazy, but just tag me in it, you know, and then we'll go from there and we'll go from the selection process from there, all right? Now, let's get to the fight breakdown, all right? Man, this is going to be a crazy fight. Um... I'm really excited, man. It's been a really long time since we had a really good, epic heavyweight fight with two good quality heavyweights going at it. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, the Bronze Bomber, the Gypsy King. Who do I think is going to win and why, all right? The first fight, oh, it's controversial. Controversial. Some people thought Fury took it. Others thought uh, Deontay Wilder took it. Now, I watched the fight multiple times. When I first watched it, um, I knew it was going to be close because of the knockdowns, but I thought Fury might get the edge because I thought he edged out the rounds, but I wasn't really surprised at the draw because of the knockdowns. And when I rewatched it, man, uh, Wilder actually won a couple more rounds than you actually give him credit for. Uh, what I'll tell people is Wilder's defense is a little better than people give him credit for. I'll say that, all right? So to that, I'll say this because I don't want this to be a really long drawn out video um so i'm gonna give my breakdown then after the fight i'll give my counter breakdown or whatever uh response reaction to what happened to the fight 
Uh, so I think this time around, uh, I'm gonna go a Wilder. I, I thought went Wilder for the first time. Um, but I think, I don't know man, I just have a feeling like this fight will be a little easier this time around. I could be mistaken, you know what I'm saying? So don't kill me for my predictions. I'm not, I'm not like, oh yeah, it's gonna happen this way. Um, this is boxing. I'm a boxing fan for first and foremost. And when you're a boxing fan versus a fan of just an individual boxer, that means I don't have any bias towards either person. If Fury wins, I'm not gonna be mad. I just expect Wilder to win. That's all I'm saying. And I think it's gonna be a knockout. And I just don't know, I just think like, from the first fight, I, it just seemed to me that Wilder was getting more familiar with Fury later in the rounds as he got calmer and started putting punches together, he started to do a little better. And I also think, man, you can't get hit like that and just walk away scot-free, man. Those punches, those knockouts, those hits, take a toll on you so you know fury could still be damaged from the first fight and he could not be you know what i'm saying so he could still do the same thing um in the first fight and, and the reason why i feel like i'm going with wilder a little more definitively uh, a little more definitively this time is um what the punching power difference I really feel like Wild or excuse me, Fury doesn't punch hard enough. I mean, they're granted they're heavyweights. If you catch somebody right, anything can happen. Um, so I'm not gonna say that, but I do think the punching power difference is gonna be uh, the main difference in this fight. So I just don't think Fury can do anything more. I don't think he can box better than he did last time. He boxed perfectly last time. It was an excellent boxing job, and but every mistake he did. He ended up getting caught and getting dropped. So, I mean, he can fight a perfect fight, you know what I'm saying? Anything's possible, but I just don't think you can fight. I mean, you can't make any mistakes. You can't get caught at all. You can get dropped and knocked out, man. That's a big pressure. That's a lot of pressure emotionally, physically, and mentally too, man. That drains on you mentally to be, to be just on guard like that all the time. So, long story short, my prediction, I'm going with Wilder. I honestly, I hope it's not an early knockout because I do want to be entertained. I want to enjoy a good time, have a couple of drinks, you know, turn up, woo -woo. you know, hopefully maybe one time when you guys come out, uh, the winners, you can come out on a fight or something like that and we can have a, you know, enjoy the fight party or something like that. Like I said, as long as you're not crazy or nothing like that. And uh, so yeah, that's my prediction for the fight. I will do a reaction video after this. Thank you guys for your support. Be sure to get your Illuminati clothing. Be sure to get your downloadable coaching programs. I have co coaching slots open uh, right now. So if you want to get total body trained, get clean, get lean, get cut, looking good. It's time. Holla at your boy. Back in the game. Peace out.